Oh. You remember that time with the scarf hip line? That purple outfit. That's what I was going to try to wear today. <laughs> Couldn't wear it because the zipper. Because the zipper was what? Oh, oh. Somebody say old. Oh. 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 So what's in your life that's old you need to get rid of? Because if any man be in Christ, he's a new, new creature. So you got to get rid of the oh. old. You got to put on the new. And take off the oh. Take off the old man. Yes. Amen. So let's go to Ephesians 5. Are y'all there yet? Yes. So it says in the 24th verse. Amen. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify. Look what it says. Sanctification means of setting apart mm -hmm. and cleanse it with what? The, wash the washing of the, of the water by the word. Amen. Say it with me. The washing, washing the of the water, water by the word. By the so word. what does the word of God? It's like water, water and it will wash, wash clean. clean. John P. Key wrote a song called Wash Me, me Jesus. Jesus. Wash Me Low. Amen. It'll make you clean. <laughs> Won't it make you clean? Inside. Inside. <laughs> and, and I know that was a revelation because what he was saying is amen. We, we, we take time to take our showers yeah. and, and our baths and we put our body wash and our body gel on and mm -hmm. we want to make sure we get our manicures and our pedicures and all of that stuff. We wash our hair. Yeah. But how many of have washed our mind lately? All right. What's in the storage of your mind? What's okay. in the back of your mind that God is saying, I got to get in there. Amen. Because I want you to have the mind of Christ. Come on now, Pastor. Let this mind that was in Christ Jesus be, be also you. in you. Yeah. I beseech your brother by the mercies of God that yeah. you present your bodies. What? Live and sacrifice. Holy and acceptable, acceptable unto God, God, which is what? Your, your reasonable, reasonable service. service. And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed. By what? Renewing, Renewing of your mind. mind. What? Prove what is that good, good, acceptable, and perfect, and perfect will of God. And, and so since uh -huh. he, he wants you to do the yeah. good, perfect, and acceptable will of God, yeah. th there, every now and then we just got to watch because the world will contaminate you. Yeah. Yeah. You know why I didn't want Sarah to go in those old boxes? Because it, it would be contaminated. Y'all know in storage units and closets, unless it's solid, you don't know what little bug that's stuck in there. <laughs> Amen. Spiders like to stay in little stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So you don't want nothing in your mind that's causing spiders. Wrong thinking. All right. Amen. Do you, do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Wrong thinking. Mm -hmm. you, you don't want anything contaminating the pureness of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. in you. Yes. You don't want wrong thinking, stinking yes. thinking, right. witchcraft thinking, yes. right. control, manipulation thinking, uh -huh. rebellious, fornication. All right. Uh, what, anything that mm -hmm. is wrong mm -hmm. according to the word of God. Right. God, God, there's some things that you have to got what what in second Corinthians 10 says casting out imaginations, imaginations and every, every high thing that exalts exalt itself, itself against, against the knowledge of God and bring it every thought into the, the captivity and to the obedience of Christ. of Christ so I don't want wrong thinking mm -hmm. to occupy any spaces in my mind right. I gotta cleanse my mind yeah how do I do it well, we just read Jesus said in St. John 15, mm -hmm. now you are clean through the, the word, word. Yes. that I've spoken. So, thoughts of unforgiveness, yes. thoughts of bitterness, mm -hmm. uh, releasing people that mm -hmm. may have uh, done something or offended two years ago, mm -hmm. um, prideful thoughts, we got to mm -hmm. pull down, pull down pride, because uh -huh. guess what, he said, when we humble ourselves, mm -hmm. God will exalt us. In yes. due season. In due season. Yes. And humility brings honor. Yes. So I got to get rid of anything and everything that will co corrupt me, yes. defile me, yes. contaminate me. Yes. And so every now and then we want to do, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes somebody say it's time to clean the house. It's time to clean the house. And I'm talking about from the top of our head to the soles of our feet, so Amen. our mind. Mm -hmm. And then our heart has to be clean. Right. But look what Jesus said. He said that he might sanctify it and cleanse it. Mm -hmm. Amen. With the washing of the water of the word mm -hmm. that he might present it to himself mm -hmm. a glorious church mm -hmm. not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing not yeah. having spot yeah not having spot spot god don't want mm -hmm. you know the old saying she just said baby don't let nobody spot your life all right come I on pastor why the old saying she's <laughs> telling the young missionaries that yes but what they meant mm -hmm. is Live an unspotted life. Somebody unspotted. say, I'm going to live. I'm going to live. An unspotted life. An unspotted life. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So if I'm going to live an unspotted life, I'm going to make sure I don't have anything that's going to contaminate my, mm -hmm. my, my life, mm -hmm. my, my walk of faith. Right. Because right. God right. called you what? Holy. Holy. Amen. Amen. And so without spot or wrinkle or any such thing. Any such but thing. it should be holy and without blemish. blemish. Amen. Let's go on. We're almost done. Amen. So this is so important because God is getting some of us ready. There's a new thing. There's a renewal going on. Mm -hmm. Well, the, also the Lord wants us to understand 
that worldly contaminations will try to stop mm -hmm. and hinder the purposes of God on your life. So let's go to the book of Hebrews. Right. And we're going to close in Hebrews. Mm -hmm. Hebrews, the ninth chapter. And this is so essential. Amen. In the book of Hebrews, mm -hmm. the ninth chapter, because Jesus is our high priest. Somebody say, he's our high priest. Jesus is our high priest. Not only is he our high priest over our confession of faith, mm -hmm. but amen, God made a new covenant, mm -hmm. and he is the author and of that new covenant. He's the author and Somebody say finisher. author and finisher. Author and finisher. Somebody say author and finisher. Author and finisher. Now in the, the last verse of Hebrews 9, 8, I just want to just read this to you. But our, our, the rest of it is going to come out of Hebrews 9 chapter. At Hebrews 8 and 13 it said, and In that he saith a new covenant. Mm -hmm. He hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. Uh -huh. Now, that's like saying to you, mm -hmm. there's some things mm -hmm. in your life mm -hmm. that's old, mm -hmm. and guess what? It's right. ready to vanish, vanish away. away. Some, uh, look at somebody and say, I need to get rid of some things. I need to get rid of some things. Say it again. I need to get rid of some things. Because some things have waxed old. Some things have waxed Amen. old. Amen. When, and when they Amen. ask old, mm -hmm. they, they got to go. Now, right. mm -hmm. God didn't write all of that have all those mm -hmm. uh, those books in the Bible. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. For it to just vanish away. Mm -hmm. So what did he do? Mm -hmm. What did he do with the old covenant, y'all? He placed it inside his son, mm -hmm. who is the word. All right. In the beginning yes. was, the word. was the word. And the word was God, God and the word was with God. God. Right. Mm -hmm. So when we tried to keep all those offerings... Mm -hmm. And sacrifices. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the Lord just said, I, I, I know how you can fulfill all of the old covenant. Mm -hmm. All of the do nots. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of the do nots. Yes. Thou shalt not. Yes. It's fulfilled in two, two things that uh -huh. Jesus said. All right. He said, Another commandment I live, leave with you. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. What did he say? Love the Lord your God with, with all, all your heart. heart. With all, all your mind, mind, with all, all your soul, soul, all your strength. And love your neighbor. Love your who? Neighbor. Love your who? As yourself. And then he asked some of the disciples, who is your neighbor? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Who is my mother and my father? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Those that do the will of the God. Will of the Father. But he said, yes. love your neighbor as yourself. As so yourself. that means that God wants us to love one another. Because mm -hmm. love is a fulfillment of the old covenant. It's a fulfillment of, of the law. law. Of the law. So what did the Lord do? Amen. In that fulfilling. So what does that symbolize to us? Let's go to Hebrews. Are y'all there with me? Yes. Ninth chapter. Now, look what he said to the seventh verse. But into the second went the high priest. Now, see, the, the priests were the ones that were, uh, that were ordained of God, went into the first tabernacle, accomplishing the service of God. But into the second went the high priest alone. So Yom Kippur, mm -hmm. that is the Jewish high holy day. Uh -huh. Once every year, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people or the sins of the people. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost signifying that the way into holiness of all was not yet made manifest while the first tabernacle was standing. Mm -hmm. And so what is he saying? Mm -hmm. While the first tabernacle was symbolic of the first covenant of the law. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. The way of holiness was not yet made. Yeah. But when Jesus Christ died on the cross, mm -hmm. he shed his blood. Is that right? Amen. The temple was ripped from the top to the bottom. Yeah. What did that signify? Mm -hmm. That the way of holiness yes. was now open right. for every man, woman, boy, and girl that would mm -hmm. come to Christ. Amen. 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 Jew and Gentile. Amen. Now look what it says here. That night verse, which was the figure. Amen. For the time then present in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices. Mm -hmm. They could not make him that did the service perfect as pertaining to the conscience. Remember I talked about your conscience. What you think. Mm -hmm. See, God doesn't want you to have a sin conscience. Yes. Say that with me. God, God does not want me to have. Does not want me to have a sin. A sin conscious. Conscious. He wants your mind to be washed and cleansed. The mind of why? Amen. Because if you keep thinking of as a man thinketh in his so heart, is, so is so he. So if I have a sin consciousness, 
All I'm going to think about is sinning. Mm -hmm. But I am now the righteousness of God, what? In, in Christ, Christ so I Jesus. think like a Christian. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're sanctified, set apart. We don't go, everything is not in my resume to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's some places that I, I don't go anymore. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm better than anybody. Mm -hmm. But I don't go there. Because it don't fit mm -hmm. who God says. All right. And God said, don't let your good be evil spoken of. Amen. So they shouldn't be finding me out in the discos in the club. That's right. Kicking it. Amen. And in the choir Sunday morning. Right. Some things just don't, it's the opposite. It's didactically opposed to that culture of being out there in the streets. Yes. And, and, and getting high. Right. Now, does God love the sinner? Yes. Of course he does. He don't love. And he made provisions for us to be washed. And we almost done that. Look what he says here. Uh, concerning the blood. Somebody said the blood. The blood. And so he said in the in the tip verse, which stood only in meats and drinks and diverse washings, mm -hmm. cardinal ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation. Mm -hmm. Well I want you to know when Jesus died and rose again, mm -hmm. that was the time Amen. of reformation. Yes. But Christ being come, a high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say not of this building. building. All right. In other words, the temple. Yes. That wasn't the building that God was talking about. Mm -hmm. Neither by the blood of goats mm -hmm. and calves, but by his own blood he entered once into the holy place. Yes. Having obtained eternal redemption uh -huh. for us. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and ashes of a heifer sprinkled to the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of his flesh, how much more? Shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. In other words, God gives you all the things that I used to do. Right. I looked at my hands. Yes. My hands look new. Yes. I looked at my feet. They did too. I, I, something got a hold. I mean, okay. there's something on the inside uh -huh. that worked on the outside. All right. And it brought about a change. A change. Of, I, I don't life. think the way I used to think. All right. I, I don't do what I used to do. Yes. I don't live the way I used to live. Yes. I don't say the things that I used to say. Yes. Why? Mm -hmm. Because God did a deep cleansing. Yes, Lord. And, and, and you know what? When we were born again, God saved our soul. Yes. But he... But you know what? Because the seed of your will, your intellect, and emotion has to be renewed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your flesh has to be retrained. Yes. Somebody said my soul has to be renewed. My soul has to be renewed. Renewing, renewing of your mind, which is part of your soul. Yes. Your flesh has to be retrained. Retrained. Because your, your flesh is a spoiled baby. Yes. Just like a baby said, I want cookie. <laughs> I want ice cream. Your flesh is the same way, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Am I right? Amen. Your flesh will tell you what it wants. That's right. When it wants it, regardless of the fact that you baptize and feel with the Holy right, Ghost. That's right. That's right. It'll tell you, you know, well, you know what? I'm lonely. But your body is saying, yeah, I'm lonely and I need to be helped. No, you got to help. The Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Somebody Holy say, Ghost. I have a helper. I have the hair helper. The paraclete. The paraclete. In me. Yes. Amen. He'll Amen. help you. He'll help those lonely nights. That's right. He'll help you. Help you when you when your when your flesh wants that cigarette. You 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 try to get off nicotine. Mm -hmm. It'll help you when your body is craving for alcohol. All right. Whatever drugs, whatever it is. Yeah. I remember when God first saved me, the first thing that went, I didn't want to cuss no more and I didn't want to drink no more. All right. Amen. Amen. And guess what? The Holy Ghost helps. Somebody right. says, send help. Send help. Amen. God will cleanse the desire. All right. Old folks say he'll take the taste right. out your mouth. Yeah. Will it take the taste out of yeah. yeah. the taste he'll out take your mouth? Taste. Yes. The taste, not just for drugs and alcohol and drink. All whatever, right, all right. Yes, he or will. For uh, fornication, sex, yes, whatever. Yes. Pornography. Mm -hmm. He'll take the taste of bitterness. Yes. He'll make your he tongue sweet. And kind yes, he will. Yes, he will. And give you kind words oh. to speak to people. Let them know yes. they're precious. And God loves them. Hallelujah. He He's chosen you for such a time oh, as this. Yeah, Lord. He'll, let, he'll let you know Jeez. that you're greater than that and you're better than that. That he doesn't want you to be used like some kind of rag Hallelujah. now. Because you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. So he says, come out from among them. Be ye separate, save the Lord. Touch not, taste not, and handle not the unclean thing. So what is he saying? Today we're going to drip y'all. 
Jesus. We're gonna, we're gonna take a bath in Ephesians. We're gonna take a bath in St. John 15 yeah, and 3. Because now we are clean through the word. Yes. So I want you right now just to lift your hands to God. Yes, and say, Lord, Lord, wash me. Wash me. Wash my mind. Wash my mind. Wash my soul. Wash my soul. Lord, wash me. Lord, wash me. Through and through. Through and through. Help me. Help me. To say the right thing. To say the right thing. Wash my tongue, Lord. Wash my tongue, Don't Lord. Don't let me say nasty things. Don't let me say nasty things. Cleanse me of the filthiness of flesh. Cleanse me of the filthiness of the flesh. Let me do the things that please you. Let me do the things that please you. Let me be a vessel of honor. Let me be a vessel of honor. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. For your glory. For your glory. And your honor. And your honor. And I'll serve you, Lord. And I'll serve you, Lord. With everything that's within with me. With everything that is within me. Because I'm a vessel. Because I'm a vessel. Fit. Fit for the master's use. For the master's use. Come on and clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.